over the Jenga and now the dare was she chugs hot sauce or she jumps in the hot pool. Sauce. She chose hot sauce so she's gonna do it. Oh man, done. let's go! Amazing, amazing. Clap. Beautiful. She sent that, she sent that. Just down the hatch. Hey, respect. Oh, it's on your nose, it's on your nose. Let's go eat. Let's go eat also, really quick. This is, that might be the introduction because this is the first time you've said hello on camera. Welcome to 5280 Training Team Retreat. We're here, and this is the team. Uh, we're just chilling, having a good time. Let's do it. Oh, they gave this to us? So, all right. If you guys wanna just open some things, let's just like kind of dive in. Don't be strangers. Eat some food. We are training at Alkaline tomorrow. You guys, I demand you use this food to train heavier, to train harder. So we got some Chipotle, catered, and everybody here is famished. So we're gonna eat. No, I'll explain the rules. So the horse wins like this. So I have this deck of cards, boom, diamonds, that. Then we go. Oh, and they move up one. Move up. And then so these cards on the side, they send them back. So, okay, you pick a horse. We have Harry Trotter as the hearts. We have who farted as the diamonds, we have 50 shades of hay as the spades, and then we have Usain Colt as the clubs. Now, if your bet loses, you have to do it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start it off. So I am going to bet, let me get you guys out of your comfort zone here. Listen, I won't force anybody to drink, okay? <laughs> but if you are saying yes to drinking, I will be betting a shotgun. Britt, your I'm next one. I bet. 10 squats. Gosh, do we have to make this fitness related? Okay. <laughs> what else do I got? Nah, you're right, you're right. Um, I'm going to take my shopping back. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do, we'll do uh, 20 burpees. A shot of chipotle sauce. Woo! I like it. 40 squats. Can I keep it simple? 10 push-ups? 30 lying leg raises. We have who farted. Oh, no. Who farted. 50 shades of hay, what the heck? So, who had that? Britt Brit and, and Carly. Carly. Uh, yup, and Beige. And Beige. Yeah. Okay, 10 so push ups, 10 guys squats. Get a dish out. 30 lying legs. Oh, shit. Oh, Nick, you know body. you're doing that. <laughs> Damn it. I'm trying to not make eye contact. Okay, so. Who should we start with first? We should start with the bet. You want to bet, so you should, yep. yeah, you should dish it out first. Who are you going to pick to do your insanely hard 10 squats? You, Michael, Connor. So me, Connor, and Michael. Michael, let's go. On me, 10 squats, boys. Ready, set, go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. We got full range, slow, boys. One, two, six, four more. Nine, one more, boys. One more. I think Michael's gotta do the hot sauce. Uh, we both do. I'm glad I do, I'm doing the hot do. sauce. The work after this. <laughs> the work. The work. The hot sauce. I'm kind of tired. Not gonna lie. I'm out of breath. We both All right. Do. So next one. <clears throat> Thirty line leg raises. Nick. <laughs> okay. Thirty. <laughs> Who does thirty? <laughs> Since we're doing thirty, the slow and controlled. You know, we'll speed it up a little bit. All right. Core engaged. <laughs> Cheeks, cheeks are tight. Go. So, one. Two. Thirty is kind of fucked. Thirty is crazy. Shouldn't have lost the bet. Oh! Fifteen. Halfway there. Eighteen. 
Absolutely, it's Nick. <laughs> Nick, are you sure you want to play this game? <laughs> to make friends, I'll do 10 with you. I'll do the 10 with you. I'll count myself as one set of those 10. <laughs> Alright, we're playing one more game. I will not be losing. Alright, core tight. Full range of motion. Go. Slow and controlled. Are we pausing? <laughs> Good work, guys. Yeah. Good work. <laughs> Next game. <laughs> Round two. Oh, last wait, one. All the losers. Losers. Oh, shit. What was my bet? <laughs> burpees! <laughs> Nick, I'll do burpees with you. So I'm talking about <laughs> Coach Britt. Ready. Probably. Set. Go. Oh, we're not doing these slow and control. <laughs> two. Nine. I think this is like 12. Yeah, I think. <laughs> 12. <laughs> 13. Why am I sweating? That, that last jump was the jump. What? Like, I can jump again. I'm wearing shotgun. I'm, sh I'm doing a shotgun bet next time. The last, a lot less effort. I need a sec. I'm like, actually, guess. Hey, it's time to get Alex. Nah. You're playing this one. Wait, what time is it? Do that again. <laughs> it's gotta go. So, what we're gonna do? Can you tell me when to stop? Bro, I can't swear from here. <laughs> I'm just gonna stop there. No, yeah. that's good. Yeah, that's fair. Good, yeah. I present that shot. Much, much smaller than my shot. Oh, I how cute. To do it. Oh. 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 All right. Oh. Dangerous. Oh. <laughs> oh. There you go. Very dangerous. Hi, girl. Yes. Great. Both of you guys, great work. Yeah. This is my bet. If I win, I pick three people to message the Slack group and say, Coach Nick is the best in the world. <laughs> and then when he loses, he's going to have to say it. Like, I would have to pick one of you guys to say you're the no. best. No, no, no. no, no. You have to I can't say mean, that I am the best. Bridge. It will look very bad. You're yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I'm here for it. Yes. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. I just got to win this one. Yeah. All right. Brett. Okay. Double shot of vodka. Michael Kelly, you just made my day. Playing this one, you gotta go. Let's do a teaspoon a tea of salt. Uh, that's a good water. one. That's a good one. Just mix with water. Yeah. Tablespoon. tablespoon. You should do a table. tablespoon. Tablespoon? No. Uh, and here we go, ladies and gentlemen. I think I'm gonna pick beige, Michael Kelly, Amanda for number three. It was a pleasure, ladies and gentlemen. If if you were drinking all night, I would definitely say no go on this because I want us to be feeling good for tomorrow. But this is like your first of the night. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna, you know, we're gonna do, we're gonna do. It. Oh, 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 yeah. I was gonna pour you less, bro. Wait, less. That's two point nine. You, you did it less. That's it. I did two point nine. Get him. Oh my gosh. Here, chase it. Wow, Give him a whole thing. That's so full. Chase it. <laughs> he said that's so full. I'm so sorry. Yeah. I have it in my nose. Dude. My man. If they don't have salt here, bro, you're bailed out. Oh, they have a whole thing here. This is a tablespoon, right? That's not a tablespoon. <laughs> <laughs> that's not a tablespoon. Oh, that's bro. funny. Oh, what the fuck? Yeah, bro. Alex Mall. With the shot of salt and water. Watch that James, James Bond movie where he gets poisoned. Yeah, yeah, just pretend you got poisoned. Oh, yeah. Oh. Down the hatch, yeah. <laughs> Dude, I know, <laughs> I know that was <laughs> That was a lot of salt, bro. You're a champ. No, I just want to. <laughs> 
I just wanted to say really quick, I appreciate you guys being here. This is the first team retreat ever like this. I know everyone here is gonna look back, you know, whether you guys are here in the future, but this is like the OG. This will be like the OGs of 5280 training. So this is like a pretty cool moment. I know it's like we, we've never met. I still feel like I know you guys super well. So I appreciate you guys being here. This is cool. Um, it's day one. You guys rock. Let's do some quick watch, all right? All right, what's up everybody? We are here at the land with the team. We are gonna do our very first team lift at our very first team retreat. One of the hardest things, right, with being an online coach is not being able to be in person and really take our clients through a movement. Now, we do form check Thursdays. We get to give them advice over the internet, right? So sending videos in, but one of the benefits of a team retreat is that we get to take our team in person through a lift and show them how to actually train. We're just freaking stoked, let's do it. We're going, we're going fives, fives all around, 5280 training. We're waiting for Britt. Britt is currently in prep. Uh, so she has like 20 hours of cardio and she's getting that done. She's about to be here. We're about to take everybody through session. It's gonna be a vibe. All right, so we have coach Britt here in the building, just got done with her cardio and training. Britt actually started out as a client and now she's a coach and we're here at a team retreat in Houston and it's just crazy how life works. So let's do this thing, 52A training, let's go. Let's go. So unfortunately, we are at the land of alphas and we just got tattletailed on. Apparently, you can't train people at the gym. We are gonna let everybody finish their session. Things were starting to get momentum with people's training and everything, so it's just really, it's frustrating because I've been coming here for a long time. I've never had this issue. I've had team lifts before. It just is what it is. So we're gonna still keep the energy high. I'm frustrated, but we're not gonna let it affect our day, let it affect our trip. All right, so we're back at the Airbnb from our training session, and as, as you guys heard earlier, uh, we, got, we had to stop doing what we came there to do, right? Some in-person training, like really get to help people. And to be honest with you, I was, I was really pissed off and upset, and I let that lower, my lower self come out. I let my ego and my pride really uh, take over. And, and you know, I had to take a sec, you know, zoom out and really put everything in a perspective here because, I mean, we have our very first team retreat. We have nine amazing individuals here, you know, who flew from all over the country to, to come spend some time and just, just get to know each other, right? Enjoy this team who we're all going through something in life and we all want to improve in our fitness and our health. And I mean, perspective, right? Life is good. We're here in this amazing Airbnb in this house. We're at the pool, like we had a good training session and it's just perspective, man. When you take a step back and you really think about what actually matters, life is good. I'm sure a lot of you guys, if you're watching this, might find yourself in times where you wanna be, you wanna let that lower version of yourself come out. And I'll, I'll tell you this, it's, it's not worth it because life is just so fucking good, man. And if you just really focus in on that, everything works out, right? So. Let's just go enjoy enjoy this beautiful day and that's what I gotta say. Let's do it.
So from here, you have to take a balloon. There's gonna be another teammate over there with a towel. They're gonna toss the balloon to the towel. That person has to catch it. There'll be another person in the pool guiding the float. And they have to make sure that they catch whatever, but they cannot use their hands to toss So they have to the toss from the towel to the floaty? To, to the, the towel floaty? to the float, yeah. <laughs> and the person in the pool has to make sure that they're going around catching it, okay? Once they catch that, then they can send whoever. It can be anybody. can come over here. So how do you win? How do you win? Okay, so in order to win, there's going to be a couple of different ways, right? You're going to be able to add points for flare too. If all of your balloons make it into the float without popping, then you can also win points. If they sink to the bottom and you have less balloons, no points, okay? The object of so the you game... Get a, if you have more balloons, you get a if point. If you have more balloons, you get so more the points. So the team with the most balloons gets a point. Yeah. So this alone at beer pong only gets you six points. Okay? For each balloon that's inside... For six cups? Yep. Each balloon that's inside of your float gets you an extra point for each of those. I see. And then each balloon that you catch inside of your towel is another point. What about flip cup? Flip cup is just the name of the game. Okay. That's how you're starting the game. No, that's cool. That's your kickstart. Okay, so who is going to keep track of the points? That's why I got an assistant. No, that's cool. I just know, like, I, I'm trying to avoid cheating from Michael Kelly. We have video evidence of it. Yeah, we will. We will. That's so true. We have video evidence. All right. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, $30 to Alphalete gift card. If we win, only, there's only what, three people? So if they win, I'll be spending more money. But if we win, less money. So we gonna win. This is the 5280 training team Olympics. Coach Nick versus Coach Britt. Three, two, one, go! Two, let's go! Woo. Team Nick! Let's go, that's called a dub! We should do best out of three. There's more balloons. There's more people on that team. No, there's less, okay, let's go. So, 30 bucks, Alphalete, boom, boom, boom. If you guys want more, do double or nothing. But if we do double or nothing, if we do double or nothing, Britt is, is paying for the gift cards. <laughs> that was fun, Alyssa, Ken, thank you so much, you guys rock. Yeah, that was great. So, Team Nick, you guys rock. Hey. Maybe next. Maybe next retreat. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. I'll for it's sure win next retreat in San Diego, it's okay. so. It's okay. Ganga! <laughs> 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 Hi. I don't get mad, I get even. <laughs> Were you actually trying to play Jenga or no? That was the word. I was like, yeah! <laughs> <laughs>
teenage wedding and the old folks wished him well. You can see that Pierre did truly love the mademoiselle. And now the young monsieur and madame have run the chapel. Say la vie, say the old folks, I told the show you never can tell. They furnished off an apartment with a two-room robot sale. The cooler radar was crammed with TV dinners and ginger ale. But when Pierre found work, the little money coming worked out well. Say la vie, say the old folks, the culture show you never can tell. So, every, before every single rep, shoulders back, elbows in, good. Chest up, go. Control, 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 good. Shoulders back, elbows in, good. Good. So we're at a massive gym and I feel like a chicken with his head cut off. I don't know where I'm going because they're all scattered around. So um, we are at Fitness Connection right now, training hard. Uh, we're gonna try to go fast so we don't get booted, but we're here. Listen, when life gives you curveballs, you hit motherfucking home runs. We're making it happen today. Yesterday didn't go as planned. So we're here, everyone's training, having a good time. We have team dinner tonight. We have a dietitian coming in to speak today at two. It's gonna be fucking great. Good, yes sir, good. Up, 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 good. Good, it's okay. There you go. Hell yeah, that's great. Forward, and up, then I'll up, keep up, my up, shoulders up, yep. back and my chest high. And then your elbows, you wanna keep them stationary so that when you pull down like this, you're like really like flexing your tricep at the bottom. In this movement, I want you to think about coming up and not so much coming straight. Yes, yep. There you go, keeping your elbows bent, yeah better and then at the top before you go back down like mind muscle connect like really squeeze yeah there you go okay. there you go so lean in lean 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 there you go let it come up so make sure you crush the stretch right so all i'm saying is as you bring it up kind of lean into it so keep your elbows there now go up 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 now kind of lean there you go perfect just a really big stretch in that tricep control pause hey you got one more come on one more Let's go. Come on. Let's go. One more. Let's go. I got you. Come on. One more. Let's go. Push. There you go. Good. Come on. Good, Amanda. Good, 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 good. That was a fucking great set. Control. Slow, 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 slow. Good. Huh? Bring it back a bit. Bring it back. Back. Good. Now lean forward. Stretching that glute. There you go, that's it, every time. There you go, there you go. Lean forward a bit, unless you're doing quad focus. Go a little bit shorter of a step, shorter step. Lifted toes, yep. I want 10 perfect reps. 10 perfect fucking reps. Control, control that bitch, yep, yep, yep. Good, keep those shoulders back as you push. Rack it, rack it. And down. Yo, okay, so it is day three of the retreat and we have a special speaker here. We have Trina. Um, she is a registered dietitian. And as you guys know, I coach women primarily. And one of the things that I don't have full experience on is women's health, women's hormones. And I do my due diligence to learn. And so we brought in Trina to really give a good deep dive into gut health, women's hormones thank you for coming what made you want to like dive into this oh as far as like my career as a whole yeah, yeah. oh that's such a good question so i would say like it's what's well, kind of stems back from me getting sick as myself yeah um as someone who like had cancer 
um, I realized the importance of like preventative and that comes from how much we can actually control within our own hormones and our digestive system yeah. because I am someone who like struggled with gut health growing up mm -hmm. and I was in like questioning like well did that potentially affect my health maybe and so as I got into my registered dietitian career I started seeing like an influx of women who struggled with the same thing that I struggled with when I was a t teenager yeah. and so I really wanted to take like my education that I learned and go the bigger step of like how can I actually not only like help change women who are struggling but now be as a preventative of like okay we can actually prevent us getting to like a place where we are like struggling and just yeah. living like a normal healthy balanced lifestyle as mm -hmm. like females as a whole because the society definitely struggles with education in the female society as far as like women's health for sure absolutely and i think that's like one of the things that we try to dive into here at 5280 Training is not just putting a band-aid on it, really like diving into why, just the why. And so that our clients understand how to do it themselves. I don't want to just be a coach who tells people what to do without them knowing what to do. And so also there's some things that I physically cannot understand as a man, a male who coaches women, right? So that's why having someone who's an expert in that field come in and really like give her perspective and her knowledge. I'm really excited for this. She's gonna really help a lot of people. Um, I've had her on before actually in our Facebook group. Um, just spit some knowledge and just stoked to have you, dude. Appreciate you coming. Uh, so honored. Yeah, yeah, let's Thanks. do it. Let's, let's, let's do this thing. <laughs>
This is just the beginning. So, we're going to do some awards. As you guys know, I, we love Corny. First off, I want to say thank you guys for coming. This is the first team retreat that we've ever had. And it means a lot that you guys actually decided to come. So, we just wanted to give our thanks. Me and Britt, we all know you guys personally in a way that nobody else does. And we just once again want to say thank you guys so much for being here. So, Britt's going to kick it off. and. Yep. Uh, well, we'll just, let's switch off. We'll do okay. you, you first and Perfect. then me. Let's do that. Awesome. Okay. My first award is TED Talk Champion for Connor. T yes. T TED Talk? Yes. I was dying when I heard that. Yes. Connor will text me all the time and be like, I need to tell you about this. And he'll just go on and on about something that he saw or thinks. And then he'll <laughs> always say, thank you for coming to my TED Talk. So he is my TED Talk Champion. Also, Connor, I have worked with you longer than I have worked with anybody else. So being able to grow with you has been really dope and it's been cool to like get to know you and, and all the things and I'm so proud of you and I'm happy that you're on my team. Okay, my next award is for Michael Kelly. It's kind of funny because most awkward check-in, but it was supposed to also be MVP. But it doesn't say that. It only says most awkward check-ins. So, <laughs> so that's for you. But Michael Kelly, I have become very, very good friends with you. I appreciate you so much. I'm so happy to have you on the team. I'm so proud of you. You've come so far. You've grown so much. And I'm just like very lucky to be a part of your journey. And I know you have so much further that you're going to go because you want it so bad. I know you're going to be successful. I'm very proud of you. Hmm, eeny, weeny, miny, <laughs> no. All right, so this one is going to be the Out of My Comfort Zone Award, and this is gonna be for Miss Amanda. When I first spoke to Amanda, our first training program was at her home with some TRX bands. We started working together in January, she's here. And even when we talked yesterday, her big thing was she's mentioned a lot about getting out of your comfort zone. And you were like a, an example. You got out of your comfort zone and actually you're fucking here in Houston. And we just met. And it feels like you've been here for two fucking years. A long time. So, yeah. Seriously. Like, like, dead yeah. ass. Okay, Lena, my girl. You get most muscle built. But... Lena, this is not just muscle mass. You are literally one of the most strongest women I've ever met in my life. Seeing your growth has been insane. I'm so, so, so proud of you. And I, you can do you can do hard things. Lena. Yes, for Lena. All right, so I, I wanted to do this one last. Um, because Carly's been the person that I show everybody. This is gonna be the best overall transformation, mentally and physically, because we started working together. It's been almost a year, it's been a year. I don't know, long time. And Carly, when I first met her, I was actually working with one of her friends, Courtney, and she was just like this little super anxious, quiet girl, and she was doing half reps. You are a completely different person than when I first met you. And I just think it's really cool because I think it's very hard to actually come out of where you were at. You've went through so many things and now you've like really fucking went head first and dove into it. Everybody here, I joke around, I talk shit and it's like super light, but this is more than just like uh, fitness. Our entire lives change because of what we do here. It just means a lot that all of you guys are here trying to be better human beings. 
you guys have made me better. Literally, you guys teach me how to be better as a, as a man, as a coach. So I know I fuck around a lot, I talk shit. You guys are the reason that I, that I wake up. Like seriously, aside from my daughter, you guys have made this journey so fucking awesome. And Carly, I mean, best transformation. There you go. Yeah. You got one more, yeah? Yep. My last one is for Horizon. You are the most consistent since day freaking one. Even when it's hard, even when, you know, good days, bad days, like you always show up for you. Always, even as soon as you get off track, the next day you're right back at it. Like, you inspire me with your consistency. So this is for you. I'm so proud of you. Yeah. But same as Nick, you know, I'm not like the best talker, but like you guys literally changed my life. I am so proud of all of you. You guys all have like such a big special place in my heart and I feel lucky to be a part of your journey and to see you guys grow and get better every day. It's crazy. Also, I wanna say to you that coming full circle is really crazy because yeah. when I met you, I was like probably in one of the darkest places of my life and you taught me everything like you yeah. literally changed my entire life like i wouldn't be bodybuilding i wouldn't be in prep like i wouldn't be doing any of this without you and it's insane you just like you're you're right such here. a special human and you mean so much to me thank you so much yes. you're the best yes i know yes. i know you're, you're prepping but yes thank you so much yes. um to 5280 train to the moon thank you that seriously i i really do appreciate that so much. thank you appreciate that all right, cheers. Nux. There you go. <laughs> Life is crazy. Oh, I feel relieved. It just feels surreal. And uh, I'm just happy to be here, man. Like, these people are amazing. I have, I have one of my best friends here, which is so cool. Like, I, you got to put this guy in. And be man, he's just a blessing in my life. And I just pray that, that God blesses him in, I don't know, abundance with all of him and his clients. And... I just, I can't thank God enough for real, man, because without him, I don't know where I'd be. And uh, just the, the friendship that we've created and going to continue to create, the impact that we'll create together. And just, man, I know God has us protected, man. And, and he's, this is barely the beginning for you, brother. Literally, you're in seed form right now and it's about to blossom within the years coming, man. And I really pray that you just receive that, man, because God has you right where he needs you including you whoever watches this and he loves you dearly and man nick just shout out to you bro you're genuinely one of my best friends i'm thankful and it's just crazy to see that i'm finally moved out here and we can do life together man so shout out to my boy nick doing this and i'm so excited for the future retreats that he's going to have and just the more impact they can create and it'll just be a domino effect shout out to you bro love you man it really is full circle because we we prep together he was my prep my prep buddy where we both took on a really hard fucking thing and we both had the same coach like we came up together and it's so funny that you're here right now like honestly like I called him literally 10 minutes we were on the way to to dinner I was like yo we have we have two more spots if there's anyone I want to be here it's you you like food you're a good ass dude you like kind of know about what you just know me better than any you know me better than a lot of people I feel very fucking at home with this guy. So I'm um, just happy to have him here. And your, your words mean a lot. And it's just, it's been a great fucking retreat. We're going to finish dinner. We're going to go hang out, like literally enjoy the rest of this retreat. Everyone leaves tomorrow. Um, and that's it. It's just been a special trip. And we're going to probably do one in the fall. And the goal is just to, to grow serve more people because at the end of the day our goal is to serve because there was a time in my life where I felt like I was alone and that I could never be the person that I wanted to be through the power of finding somebody very special and and I, I once again I'll give a shout out to my coach Chad Morgan and, and Farshad like without them I wouldn't be here so um, it's just very special and I'm grateful and I appreciate you watching this 5280 training to the moon and uh, have, a, have, a, have a blessed night.